Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to render out a certain part of your video in Camtasia 2020. All right, so I'm here on the dashboard of Camtasia 2020, and I've got some media here, and I'm gonna drag it down to the timeline. And you might be wondering, okay, why is it important to be able to render out a certain part of your video? Well, if you've got a big project and you start to stack everything up, you know, color correction, you've got the audio going, you've chopped it up into a million pieces, you're adding shapes, adding text. When you do that, it starts to slow down a bit. It can slow down depending on your computer. And you might have added like an animation or a behavior of some sort. And then when you go to try and play it, it's a little bit glitchy, it's choppy, and you can't see what it really looks like as a polished version. That's where rendering a certain part of your video comes into play. So this right here, let's say I've got this clip right here, and let's say there's a million things happening, and you know, this part right here from here to here is glitchy and I want to see if it actually looks good in final version. So what you can do is use this thing right here, this uh, little track cursor thing, and you wanna stretch it out to the point where you want to see and render. So from here to here is where I want to render it out and see if this part looks okay. And what you want to do is is right click on this section and then you'll see here produce timeline selection as click on that and then right from there it's going to take you into where you would normally render out your videos but instead it's only going to do this section and so from here what i would do is i would go to 1080 you can go lesser versions if you just want to quickly see how it looks, but I'll just do this and then I'll say, okay, test render one. You can name it whatever you want and then click finish. And now that section of the clip is going to render out. All right, so the video just finished rendering. Now let me just play this part so that we know where we actually are, so I'll just play so it. Before we get started, a couple of things. This is our YouTube channel right here. We are a tutorial based YouTube channel. Okay, so that's where it starts, and then it goes on for about 20 something seconds or so. And then here's now the rendered portion of that right here. So before we get started, a couple of things. This is our YouTube channel right here. I'll go to the end. Topics. All right, so that was about 26 seconds and you can see that it rendered out a selection of the video. So that was 26 seconds of this 11 minute, 18 second video. So that's gonna be really cool and really handy when you are working on bigger projects and it gets all glitched out you can now quickly see, okay, is that section gonna look okay in the final video? Because what you don't wanna do is render out the whole final video, you know, it takes X amount of minutes, 20 minutes maybe, depending on how long it is, 30 minutes, and then you get the final video, and then you see, oh, that part needs another change, and then you go again and render it again. So this is gonna help save time when you are working on those projects and you need to see certain parts if your playback is glitching out. If you guys like these kinds of videos, I have a nine plus hour Camtasia course with 70 plus lectures that you guys can get two months free access to down in the description below. Let me know if this video was helpful by giving it a like, a comment, or a subscribe. All that would be very much appreciated. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.